I've been teasing for a while on this particular pickup, and I mean, there's good reason why. Hey guys, Josh of Spartan Reptiles. Welcome back for another video. So, this video. This is the long anticipated video uh, for the third snake that I picked up from Tony Thomas. And uh, I will let you know this is a dominant trait. So anything I breed this to, at least half the clutch or half the clutch should end up having this particular gene in it. Uh, it's relatively not worked with by a whole lot of people. Uh, it's still on the ground floor as far as this project goes. There's still so much potential and so much stuff left to be done with it. So, I've been teasing for a while on this particular pickup. And, I mean, there's good reason why. I wanted to keep you guys hanging there for a little bit so you could actually uh, kind of simmer and try to think about what did we possibly pick up from Tony. And uh, so let's go ahead and get on with it, and let's show you the snake. And what we have here is a 2020 male pastel redhead. It's actually going in the shed. Of course, anytime you want to do something, it's always in shed. It's always that way. At least I've, you know, had that kind of luck. Uh... Needless to say, super excited to get into this project. And so there it is Redhead, Pastel Redhead, 2020 Mel. An amazing, amazing animal, amazing gene. Like I said, still on the ground floor. Still so much left to do with this project. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I have some ideas for this project already. Um, Definitely one of the things that I am going to recreate is a pastel Enchi Redhead. That combination is just absolutely mind-blowing. Just the way it reacts with each other. And, uh, I mean, just Enchi and Redhead together. Totally acts crazy. And uh, if you haven't seen that video where Tony talks about that, you need to go check out Tony's channel and definitely watch that video. Because Enchi and Redhead react absolutely not the way you think they would. But when you add pastel to that, you have an, an amazing, an amazing animal. Definitely a powerhouse. And uh, like I said, with it being a dominant trait, anything I breed this to, half the clutch should have the redhead gene in it. And uh, I'm looking forward to a lot of cool different avenues with this boy. I have lots of ideas. And uh, between this and working on the confusion acid static project uh, I think we're gonna have some pretty cool stuff happening here in this in the near future but uh, super excited super super excited about this and I want to get thank you again Tony for letting me in on this project it's uh, greatly appreciated and uh, anyways uh, let's see if we have any locks today uh, I actually currently have a Pastel Pied Mel uh, paired up with a 100% Hep Pied Female. I have my Pastel Mojave paired up to a Mystic, going for the Mystic Potions again. And uh, like I said in videos in the past, uh, the reason why I'm doing that is just because I have a high demand of uh, people asking for Mystic Potions up here. So, And then uh, I also have a Super Red Exanthic being bred to my uh, pet project which I call the Thanos gene and uh, so hopefully we're gonna see uh, well, how it reacts with uh, the head red exanthic uh, because with pairing it to a super red exanthic everything in that clutch is gonna be head red exanthic 
and in my opinion right now so far I I consider the Thanos to be a dominant trait and I think it's just a, a really nice enhancing gene. I haven't produced anything that I consider a super yet um, so uh, that's why I'm going with the notion that it's going to be a dominant trait. So let's see if we got any locks with those three pairings and uh, I'm going to put this boy back up. No lock today, but we do got some courting going on. This dude is an actual, I mean, he's one of my best breeders. This guy will lock up with a shoestring if you let him. And let's go ahead and take a look here. Well, no lock, but we got some courting going on. Mystic female, Pastel Mojave. And no lock yet here. Red Exantic, two female Thanos. No lock, but courting. I like to see courting because then I know it should progress from there. So, there you have it. That's all for today, just a quick short video uh, releasing our new gene, uh, the Redhead. And again, super excited about this project. I just can't wait to get this thing going. And uh, then we also took a look to see if we had any locks. Unfortunately, no, no locks today, but uh, fingers crossed with the starting to rain outside. Uh, hopefully that uh, will help entice that. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for joining us. And thank you again, Tony Thomas, for letting us, letting it, us get into this project. And uh, make sure you hit the like button. Share the video if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it if you do. And make sure you comment down below. Hit the notification button so you know when we upload another video. And as always, thank you so much for your support, guys. We greatly appreciate it. And keep on herping.